now by Tina Goff and Joe Broadbent of the Falcons. Joe, not your day today. Two years running, runners <laughs> up. Sorry to drop that one in, but how are you feeling after today's game? Well, obviously, every game you play, you play to win, and um, you know. The, I think the important thing is that we've enjoyed the whole fair break experience and. You know, just seeing the associate members sort of link in with the full members and, and being able to watch them with their routines and how they go about their games and, you know, ebbs and flows. Cricket is like a roller coaster. I remember going to Disneyland a couple of days ago <laughs> and I sort of feel like today was a little bit like that, um, being on a little bit of a roller coaster. However, I think, you know, we held our heads high um, and we did our best. We were just beaten by a very good batter today in Hayley Matthews and... Uh, she was definitely on fire, but I thought our players stuck to their guns. And what were the discussions at the end of that innings when you knew you were going to have to come out and chase hard? I think, as Susie said, you know, when you've got Shmali Adipadu and Danny Wyatt, um, even even Thurta Satish, and also Susie Bates, like we we thought we could give this a bit of a bit of a go. Um, you know, unfortunately, a couple of wickets fell um, within the the sixth seventh over. So, you know, look, I think. If, we, if they had batted through maybe to the end, then, then it could have been a, a close competition. But, you know, I think I said to our girls at the, at the end of the game that that was a special innings by Hayley Matthews. And I think if, if we had been able to do that with a couple of our batters as well, it would have been a good competitive game. But unfortunately for us, they bowled very well and credit to, to the Warriors. And Tina, it must be quite raw right now, but how much have you enjoyed this series back with the K-Man Falcons? Oh, it's been incredible um, to be invited back for a second time uh, has been a fantastic experience and I think as Joe mentioned it's not just about what happens on the pitch it's what happens off the pitch as well and to be able to learn from all these players uh, the internationals how, how they go about their cricket is really um, really helps my game and I look forward to the next chance I get. Um, a question here from Lavania. Brian Lara once said of Raul Dravid in the men's game that if someone had to bat for his life, it would be Dravid. <laughs> Is this Marizan Cap in the women's game? She's an absolute gun in high pressure situations, and was that a huge point of difference today? Well, obviously, when you're losing someone like Marizan Cap and the quality, not not just with the ball, but with the bat, as you say, like um, I was throwing balls to her the other day, and just she can manipulate the ball wherever she needs to manipulate it. I think, you know, she was a bit disappointed that she didn't contribute more with the bat. Um, and we saw that sort of in the in the semi-final she came through for us. So she is a high quality batter. Like, seriously, I think she could bat, you know, top four in any team in the world. Um, and, you know, yeah, it's just it was just a little bit disappointing that we obviously couldn't put her on the park today. But, um, you know, we've got to put bodies first. And she's played a lot of cricket and she was very good with our group off, off the field. And it was just a pity we couldn't get her on there today. Um, and I think we have a question from Mohit. Thanks, Georgie. Uh, hi, Coach and Tina. Congrats on a fine tournament. Uh, I had one question for Joanne first. Uh, just wanted to ask you about Susie Bates, the leader, and the kind of role she has played for this team for two years because a lot of the associate players have acknowledged that as well. But as a coach, what do you like the most about her as a leader? Oh, look, Susie is just a fantastic leader. And I think, you know, I said this to the group, we're very fortunate to have someone like her um, leading our team. And it's not just on the field, it's off the field. She leads by examples, just setting her, her routine. She's also likes to have a good time as, as well. Um, and she likes her quiet time too. So she gets a really good balance. And that's what I like about Susie. And she just works with each of the players um, in our group, whether it's batting or whether it's some tactical things around around bowling and setting fields. So, you know, such an important part. And I, ju I just love working with Susie. The, the minute that I was the Falcons coach and I heard that she was captain, I just went, you know, all my dreams have come true, really, <laughs> to have someone like Susie um, and to be able to lead with her. Uh, just to a very quick follow-up for Tina as well. Uh, you've now been associated with the tournament for two seasons. What is it that you have enjoyed the most this year other than the shorter boundaries compared to the way? <laughs> Definitely the shorter boundaries. <laughs> um, but apart from that, just being able to experience the whole team environment again, because we were quite lucky to have a similar team this year to last year, we came straight back in and it was like we'd not been away. So to have that kind of team bonding um, was really great and to learn from the best players in the world. And just to mention Susie again, um, she's one of the best players in the world and yet you can approach her, you can ask her things. She makes everyone feel so welcome 
And that's how you can perform as an associate player as well, by feeling that you're wanted in the team and that you can perform and perform your skills. So Susie is the best captain that we could all wish for. Thank you so much. She also knows where to find the best coffee. <laughs> yeah. Um, and the last question comes in from Gomesh to Joe. Reflecting on the season, how do you look at the growth of the players from last year and the consistency Falcons have developed in reaching the final? Yeah, as, as Tina said, like it was really awesome to have a similar group back than what we had last year. And I just, you know, I just asked the girls at the end of um, that game from a team perspective, we can learn things from a team, but we've also got to take some things away individually. And each individual, you know, they'll have a good look at the types of things. And it's not just about the skills, it's also about the physicality, you know, even nutrition, all the important things that, that a full-time athlete needs to be aware of. So I think, you know, what we want to do is keep stretching and keep growing our players no matter what. So um, once they've had a good think about that, I think it, it, it'll be good for sort of some coach feedback and be able to um, to and fro and be able to stretch them a little bit more so that when we hit the next fair break, um, we're fully coiled. That's I'm lucky. Um, well, yes. I won't keep you any longer because there's celebrating to be done on the tournament as a whole. It's been absolutely fantastic watching you guys play, coach, being around you both as part of the Fairbreak family. Thank you so much. And that rounds off our final press conference of the Gen Corps Fairbreak Invitational 2023. We're <laughs> joined by Cindy Sriharsha and Hayley Matthews of the victorious Warriors, an absolutely dominant performance from the team today. Sindhu, can you talk us through how you feel right now? I'm not sure yet. Uh, definitely lots of words. Um, it's been amazing leading this team. It's an honor um, having a team that knows what they're doing. So it's quite easier to lead this team. Um, Haley has been a big part of the leadership group and uh, Minion Dupree as well. Um, I've learned a great deal from last year to this year. Uh, it's been a great turnaround from finishing last last year to finishing first. Like I've always mentioned, it's about the processes and we kept believing in it. And here we are today with the trophy. And Hayley, what a day you had. What clicked and you just always showing up on the big days. Yeah, I just tried to stay real confident. Um, I think I've been making a joke with the girls that uh, I've not been doing much. And it was really good that they've been fantastic the entire season. I think it was a complete team performance uh, for the entire tournament, which is exactly what you want. Um, yeah, I think uh, because of that, I was able to have the chance today in the finals to go out there and really perform well, and yeah, it just worked out for me. And you hit the fastest half century of fair break. You were then actually overtaken by Catherine Bryce, who hit, who went one ball <laughs> faster. How good has she been this tournament? Yeah, nah, she's been great. Uh, most wickets, I think, and just the way she's been able to go about it. With the bat as well, um, I think she's been a star performer for us and one of the players of the tournament. So once again, it's good to have a player like that on our side. And yeah, like I said, she's just been great the entire season. And how much have you enjoyed being able to come back and captain this team and have that big turnaround this year? Well, it's been amazing, like, uh, like I said, uh, and rightly said, uh, Pricey is probably our MVP of this uh, tournament for us. Uh, everybody who's stepped onto the field have stuck to their plans and everybody believed in the plans and the processes as well. Uh, it was more about getting those things right rather than winning or looking at those results or the big trophy. Um, but here we are today uh, being able to lift this up. I think it's a great uh, testament to what we've believed and also do not want to um, just take the credit for ourselves. I think the people behind the scenes as well, like Julia Price, uh, Didi, um, Julia, but everybody have put in a lot of work. Uh, they don't get noticed as much, but uh, without their support, we couldn't have been able to do that. So definitely a, a shout out to them. And Hayley, you've played in franchises around the world. What is it that makes Fairbreak different? I think just the inclusion of it, um, playing alongside the associate girls have been great and I think it really opens opportunities um, and I think just it's obviously a massive vision as well and even for us uh, international players to see the kind of talent that there is um, at the associate level, um, I think a lot of us were shocked last year and we've seen how much so many of the players have grown because of opportunities like this so hopefully you can just continue to carry things forward and help women's cricket progress really quickly. Um, and a few questions coming in. So from Lavanya, this is to Sindhu. What are the biggest differences in terms of competition and player quality from last year to this year? Well, it's, I think we are, all of us as associate cricketers have gone a level up as well as from the opportunities that we got last time, rubbing the shoulders with the greats. Um, 
our cricket has gone one step ahead, so which makes us almost complete, compete with the full associate, uh, full member cricketers. And um, a little bit, the I feel like the bowlers came into the party a little bit more this tournament because the pitches have helped them, which makes the cricket a little more interesting um, rather than just being a batter's game. So I think uh, having that um, both bowlers and batters coming into the game just makes it a little bit more interesting. And question for Hayley, you've had an incredible summer, two trophies in two tournaments. How are you processing all the success and the eyeballs also coming your way particularly? Yeah, no, it's been great. Um, obviously, a long couple of months on the road. Um, but I think, you know, victories and successes like this obviously makes it a bit easier. Um, yeah, I think 100% when I go out to play franchise cricket, um, I'm a team player. And I think team success is definitely uh, on the forefront of what I want to be doing when I'm playing. So just really proud and really happy that I was able to contribute so much to team success. And yeah, just happy that I can head home now and uh, have a bit of time off to myself, um, but know that I've given my all in, in these tournaments that I've played. You've got to go home and build a bigger trophy cabinet. <laughs> yeah. Um, and there's a question for Gomesh for you, Sindhu. How does it feel on a personal level to win something like this as captain, especially with Julia Price alongside you? Yeah, this keeps coming up uh, where uh, Julia Price and uh, my, uh, I mean, uh, our partnership yeah, it's uh, definitely special. Um, uh, we hope we could have helped her back in the USA cricket and being able to achieve this in USA would have been great. Uh, but I've enjoyed myself uh, working with her. Uh, it's been a great four years that I've worked with her. Um, it doesn't come very often as an associate captain to be holding a trophy like this. So it still hasn't sunk in for me. It probably will take a few days uh, to uh, sink, uh, sink in. But uh, it's been amazing, and like I've said, we never thought about winning this trophy. It was about just doing the right things and you know enjoying ourselves and backing each other up and supporting each other. We've done the right thing, so yeah.